What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It is White Gamer. Today we have the best fullback build for level 25, level 50, level 75, and level 100. This one right here is going to be for level 25. So for your position, you're either going to go with left back or right back. All up to you. Height. We're going to go with 5, 11. I think this year you definitely want to have some height as a fullback, especially since crossing is pretty meta. Then the weight, we're going to go with 152 pounds. For your playstyle plus, you're only going to have one slot unlocked. And the one I definitely recommend, guys, is the long ball pass. This is good to switch the ball to the opposite side of the pitch or up forward when you do X or square on PlayStation. And the ball just travels much, much quicker and with accuracy. Now, for your playstyle plus, guys, the first one I definitely recommend is anticipate. This is allow you to perform better standing tackles. And even though you're playing fullback, your number one job at the end of the day is to make standing tackles and to defend. So this one's very, very, very good. The next one we're going to go with is the quick step. This is going to allow for your pro to accelerate quicker if you need to track back to your position or to your opponent. Then the next one we're going to go with, guys, is the aerial. This is going to allow you to perform higher jumps. And I definitely recommend you to have this one, especially since crossing is pretty meta. You want to be able to jump and I'll jump your opponent. So these are the play styles and play style plus that we went for level 25. Now, for the running style, the one that I personally use when I play fullback is the medalist. This one's just very good for defenders in general. So I definitely recommend you to use a medalist. Now, for the skill tree at level 25, you're only going to have 43 skill points. So we're going to focus on the pace, guys. Get your acceleration and sprint speed just like this. It's late in the year. Like, not pretty much every winger or a attacker that you come up against is going to have a lot of pace so you want to make sure we focus on the pace you have 81 acceleration and 90 sprint speed this is good for now we'll put it up higher in the later levels and then from the defending guys you're going to get these three right here so we can boost that defensive awareness and the standing tackle i think these are probably the two most important thing for a fullback don't worry about the rest like I said, we'll upgrade it later, but you have 86 defensive awareness. That's going to allow you to perform better standing tackles, intercept the ball much better. And of course, the 85 standing tackle will do the job. And remember, you also have the anticipate play style, which will help out with those standing tackles. And then last but not least, guys, we got the physical. We're going to get some jumping. Focus on some jumping. You have 84 jumping, which is all right for now. And you also have the aerial play style. So you should be winning a good amount of your... Uh, jumps or headers and then 87 stamina guys that's more than enough for now for a level 25 so if you, you're that type of fullback that pushes up and down you know 87 stamina should be enough if we back out boys and girls you're going to be an 82 rated fullback remember the rating doesn't matter it's the individual stats you have 85 pace 77 passing 83 defending and 79 physical this build was for level 25 now for level 50 again you're going to go with a right back or left back build Heights, we're going to go with 5'11". So this is the last level. You want to have some height as a fullback. You don't want to be playing too small, especially since the crossing is pretty meta. Weights, we're going to go with 152 pounds. Now for your play style plus, you're still going to have one slot on lock. I recommend the long ball pass plus. This is going to be very good to find your teammates on lob passes. Far out on the pitch with X or square if you're on PlayStation. It's very, very good. And then for your regular play styles, guys. Now, from the passing, there's two options you can go with. If you're that type of fullback that likes to cross a lot, if you like to cross a lot as a fullback, go with the whip pass. If you don't really cross a lot as a fullback, then I recommend the ping pass. This is a lot for the ball to travel much quicker when you do RBA or R1X on PlayStation. So either or works fine, depending on how you play fullback. Again, if you like to cross a lot, go with the whip pass. Then from the defending, we're going to get the block. This is going to increase the chances of you blocking the ball. And this is actually good since crossing is meta. If you come up against wingers or a team that crosses a lot, you definitely want to have this so your pro can make those blocks. And then we're going to go with intercept. It's going to increase the chances of your pro intercepting the ball. As long as the ball is nearby, your pro should be able to intercept it. Then we go with anticipate. This is increase the chances of those standing tackles coming out successfully. And it's very, very good as well. And then the last two, we're going to go with the quick step. It's going to allow for your part to accelerate quicker back to your position. Just accelerate in general when you don't have the ball. And it's very good a lot for a lot of builds this year. And then last but not least, we're going with the aerial. As I mentioned before, the crossing is OP. So you want to, 
as a fullback, you definitely want to have this so your pro can perform higher jumps. But these are the play styles and play style plus that we went for level 50. Now, for the running style, the one that I use when I play fullback is the medalist. I think this one's very good for defenders in general. You can go with whatever one you prefer, guys, but I definitely recommend the medalist for your running style. Now we have the skill tree for level 50. You're going to have 79 skill points. Max out your pace, guys. Get the cheetah archetype. Max it out completely. It's super late on in the year. Pretty much every single winger or attacker that you can come up against is going to have maxed out pace. So you want to be able to keep up with them. You have 87 acceleration and 96 sprint speed. That is very, very good for a fullback. Now, for the passing, we're just going to focus on some long passing. This will give you 79 long passing. This will do the job. And then the 80 short pass, guys, is more than enough. As long as you're aiming the, your analog stick properly, your, the ball will go where it needs to go. And then from the defending, guys, we're going to get these two interceptions. And then on this right side, we're going to get the standing tackle. So this will give you 83 interceptions, which is decent enough. But I think probably the most important thing is the defensive awareness. It's going to allow for your pro to make better interceptions, much better standing tackle. You have that at 88. And then you have 87 standing tackle, which is good. And you also have to anticipate play style to help out with those standing tackles. So they come out very precise and accurately. And then 87 slide tackle, it's more than enough. The slide tackling is very, very good. And then last but not least, guys, we're going to focus on the physical. You're going to get <clears throat> your jumping all filled out just like this. So will give you 89 jumping, which is what you want as a fullback. Can say this enough. The crossing is pretty overpowered, especially if you play divisions. You're going to come up against teams that like to cross a lot. So you want to have that ability to win those aerial battles far post. Then you have 90 stamina, which should be good for a lot of people. Now we'll be back out, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to be an 84 rated fullback with 90 pace, 78 passing, 86 defending and 80 physical this build was for level 50 now we have level 75 fullback belt your position it's either going to be left back or right back all up to you height this time we're going to go with six foot i've been saying in the other levels you want to have some height as a fullback especially since crossing is pretty overpower especially if you play divisions you're going to come up against teams that just abuse crossing then weight we're going to go with 152 pounds and then at level 75 you're going to have all your play style plus on lock so the first one Highly recommend is the quick step plus this is going to allow for your pro to accelerate quicker when you need to track down to your opponent or just get back to your position or just push up forward guys. Very, very good one. And then the next one I highly recommend is the aerial plus. This is going to allow for your pro to jump even higher and with the crossing being overpowered, you definitely want to have this so you can win those far post crosses. Then from the regular play style guys. From the passing, there's two options that I recommend. The whip pass. If you're that type of fullback that likes to cross a lot, you know who you are, go with the whip pass. The whip pass is really good for crossing the ball inside the box. If you don't really cross a lot or nothing like that, then just go with the ping pass, guys. This one's very good. When you do that R1X or RBA, the ball will travel much quicker to your teammates, and it's, it's a very good play style. Then from the defending, guys, we're going to get the block. So your pro has a higher chance of blocking those crosses or blocking shots. Definitely want to go with that. And then we're going to go with the intercept play style. It's going to give you even higher chances of you intercepting the ball. Then we're going to go with the anticipate play style. So when you go for those standing tackles, the ball is not bouncing around. Your pro will win those standing tackles as long as you're timing it right. And the ball will stay right in front of your feet. Then for the last two guys. This one, the rapid is good. So when you have the ball and you're pushing up as a fullback, your pro won't take those heavy touches as you're pushing up with the ball. So this one's definitely really good. And then I recommend the relentless, guys. Since you are playing fullback and you're going to be doing, you know, pushing up, helping up on the attack and dropping back to defend, this is going to recover your stamina at halftime or extra time. Now, if you're the type of fullback that you don't push up a lot, guys, you can either take out the rapid or the relentless and put the long ball pass or put another passing all up to you but we're gonna go with the play styles just like this this was for level 75. now for the running style the one that i've been recommending is the medalist this is the one i personally use when i play fullback there's just something about this play style it's very good again you can try out or use whichever play style you prefer but i recommend the medalist 
Now we have the skill tree for level 75. You're going to have 117 skill points. Max out your pace, guys. I said it in the last level. It is late into the year. Pretty much every attacker that you come up against is going to have maxed out pace. So you want to make sure you have your pace maxed out. 87 acceleration and 96 sprint speed should be more than enough. Should be really good for you to catch up to your opponent as long as you're not completely out of your position and then from the passing guys we're gonna get these three long passing to boost up those long pass this will give you 79 long pass now even though it's not the highest it'll still do the job guys trust me it'll still do the job as long as you're aiming it properly with your analog stick and then 80 short pass it's more than enough you don't need to have crazy amount of short passing stats and then from the dribbling guys we're gonna focus on some agility and then some dribbling so the agility doesn't allow you not to turn directions really quick with your pro and when you're jockeying. When you're doing left trigger and you're jockeying to defend, that's also going to help out with that. Now, 69 agility is not the greatest, but you know you are a fullback at the end of the day. And then 74 dribbling, it's all right. Nothing crazy. You know These dribbling stats aren't insane because you are a fullback at the end of the day. And then from the defending guys, you're going to get the guardian archetype and then get these three right here. Your job at the end of the day is to defend, guys. It's not just to push up, but to defend. You have 91 interceptions, which is very good. 93 defensive awareness. 90 standing tackle and 87 slide tackle. These are some very, very good defending stats for a fullback. And then from the physical, guys, you're going to get the right side completely filled out. Get the acrobat archetype. Get all that filled out. Now, this will give you 94 jumping, which is freaking excellent, guys. You want to be able to jump high. In case you come up against a team that cross abuses, even if you don't come up against a team that cross abuses, you know, there's going to be a time where they cross and you got to win it. So definitely want to have some high jump. And then you have 95 stamina. That should be more than enough because you also have the relentless play style. Remember, the relentless play style is going to help you recover stamina at halftime and extra time. So these are probably the most important stat to jump into stamina. And then the reactions, we'll worry about it in the next level. But if we back out, boys and girls, you're going to be an 87 rated fullback. You have 91 pace, 78 passing, 73 dribbling, 90 defending, and 82 physical. This one was for level 75. Now we have level 100 fullback built. You're persistent. You're either going to go with left back or right back. Height, we're going to go with 6'1". You definitely want to have some height as a fullback this year, guys, especially if you're playing divisions, guys. A lot of people like to cross abuse in divisions, so you want to have some height so you can cover those far post crosses. Weight, we're going with 152 pounds. And then for your play style plus, at level 100, you're going to have everything on lock. The first one I definitely recommend is the quick step plus. This is a lot for your pro to accelerate quicker, whether it's chasing down your opponent or tracking back to your position or even pushing up. The last but not least for the play style plus, we're going to go with the aerial plus. It's going to allow you to perform higher jumps. And you definitely want that, whether it's to win aerial battles or to cover those crosses far posts. And then for your regular play style, guys, listen carefully. If you're that type of fullback that likes to cross a lot, you know who you are. If you like to cross a lot, go with the whip pass. If you don't really cross as a fullback, then go with the pink pass, guys. When you do that RBA or that R1X, the ball will travel much quicker on the ground and it'll be just good to you know start attacking then we're gonna go with the block play style this is increase the chances of you blocking the shots or even the crosses when your opponent is going for crosses then we're gonna go with the intercept it's gonna increase the chances of you intercepting the ball if you're near the ball your pro will intercept the ball and then we're gonna go with anticipate when you make that standing tackle, guys, you're going to have a higher success rate of winning that standing tackle. And the ball will stay right in front of your feet. And then for the last two guys, definitely recommend Relentless. Since you are playing fullback, I'm assuming some of you guys or probably most of you guys are going to be pushing up and then going back to defend. So you're going to need that stamina. So at halftime or extra time, the stamina is going to get recovered for you. And then last but not least, guys, we're going to go with the Rapid. So as you're pushing up with the ball, your pro won't take those heavy touches or heavy knock-ons, and it's really good. So the opponents don't take the ball away easily for, from you. Um, if you don't really push up a lot, guys, you can take out the rapid and either put the whip pass or the long ball pass all up to you. But these are the play styles and play style plus that we went for level 100. For the running style, I've been recommending the medalist throughout the entire video and throughout the year, guys. This is the one that I personally use when I play fullback. 
It's really good. There's just something about this that makes your pro feel really fast when you're tracking back to your position or tracking down to your opponent. So you can go with whatever running style you prefer the most, but I definitely recommend the Medalist. Now, for the skill tree at level 100, you're going to have 160 skill points, so get the Cheetah Archetype and max out your pace. I said this in the last levels, guys. You're late into the year. Everyone that you're going to come up against is going to have max pace for the most part. So you have 85 acceleration and 95 sprint speed. That is very, very good for a fullback. You don't want to be too slow as a fullback or else you're just going to get smoked by. And then from the passing, guys, we're going to go with crossing, and then we're going to get these short passing right here and then these three long passing right here now listen carefully if you don't really cross if you don't really cross guys you can take these two out and put more long passing if you don't cross but i'm assuming some of you guys do cross as a fullback which is fine so you have 85 crossing 81 short pass that's more than enough that'll get the job done and then you have 79 long pass again even though the long pass isn't the greatest you can still find your teammates on through balls or if you need to switch it so don't worry too much about it but again if you don't cross as a fullback that much you can take out these two and put it into some long passing and more short passing all up to you but we're gonna go with the passing just like this and then from the dribbling guys we're gonna focus on some agility and then get these three dribbling right here. And then we are going to get some balance and some ball control. You definitely want to have some ball control as a fullback. Especially as a defender in general, the ball control isn't the greatest. So 79 is decent enough. And then you have 73 balance. That's going to determine how often your pro falls when you're being challenged by other players. So when you're pushing up and someone's trying to outbody you, the, the higher the balance, the, be the better it is. 73 isn't the greatest, but, you know, that's what we got to work with. And then 68 agility, that's going to help you determine how quickly your pro turns with the ball. Or even when you're jockeying, when you're jockeying to defend with left trigger. It's also going to help out with that. So these are the dribbling stats that we went with. It's not the greatest, but at the end of the day, guys, your job is to defend. So you're going to get the guardian archetype and get your, all your standing tackles completely filled out. This will give you 86 slide tackle, which is more than enough. This year, the slide tackling is already good. Then you have 93 standing tackle, which is excellent. And you have anticipate play style. So when you make those standing tackles, your pro is going to win them. Most of the time, as long as you're timing your tackles properly, then you have 93 defensive awareness, 94 interceptions, which is very, very, very good. And then last but not least, guys, we got the physical. You're going to get the bull archetype to boost up that strength and aggression. Then on this right side, you're going to get the jumping completely filled out. We're going to get an aggression. Then for the last four skill points, guys, listen carefully. Make sure you press down on your button and you get this reaction. Make sure this is two out of two. And then for this reaction, make sure it says 2 out of 2. Now, this will give you 93 jumping and your 6-1 and you have the aerial plus, guys. So you should be winning probably like 95 to 99% of your headers. Then you have 95 stamina, which is very good. And you have the relentless play style. So that means when it gets to extra time or halftime, your stamina bar will go back up. Not fully, but it will go back up a bit more than what you had it at. Then you have 88 strength, which is good. Most of the attackers that you're going to come up against aren't going to be that strong, but you still want to have some strength and aggression, guys. And then the 91 reaction is just going to allow for your pro to feel much better overall. The animations will come out much quicker. When you're about to receive the ball, your pro will react quicker. And then their aggression, that's going to determine how often or how aggressive your pro is when you're outbodying or shielding someone. And it's going to make you win the ball just much easier and just push them off the ball much easier. Now we back out, boys and girls. You're going to be an 88th rated fullback. The rating doesn't matter, guys. It's the individual stats. You have 90 pace, 79 passing, 74 dribbling, 92 defending, and 89 physical. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.